I was one of the archivists that was asked to look into the origins of the Vernon March statuette of General Wolfe that was turned into uh, the Lord Elgin Hotel. Uh, the note that accompanied it indicated that it had been taken from the public archives in the 1950s. Uh, I had a, a inkling of a memory of uh, a photograph and an article that was written by Jim Barant, my former manager at Library and Archives Canada. And I went and looked at the photo, which was of the Dominion Archivist's office, and there was a statuette in the photo on the mantelpiece, along with other works of art collected by the Dominion Archivist. But we determined that it wasn't quite the same statuette. It was very similar. Um, at that point, I decided to start looking through the, um, the files concerning the acquisition of art by the Dominion Archives. And I happened to find a card catalog box uh, with three by five cards. And as I was flipping through those, I found um, an entry for a correspondence with Sidney March, who was Vernon March's brother. Um, at that point, I then ordered in the container, which had to come from our um, storage facility in Renfrew. But once the box arrived, I, fi I quickly found the file and found the evidence that we had, in fact, purchased the statuette, along with three other statuettes, in 1913. And there was a series of letters um, concerning the purchase of the items as well as payment to uh, the March family for the four statuettes.